Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. So today we have my little sister Samantha here and we are going to be doing something a little bit fun, but first we need to move up this blonde. So we're going to be doing a partial foliage on her. So this is kind of my sectioning a little, but a little bit above the ear and then I section the front from the back as well. So I'm going to be mixing up flash lift and 20 volume and of course using uberless as well as collagen powder. You guys know this works from the inside out to make sure that we are keeping the hair really nice and healthy and smooth and soft and all the good things of course So I'm going to be doing a brick lay pattern, so I'm starting here in the middle and I'm keeping my weaves pretty chunky just because we do like to see some really nice pops of blonde throughout. I'm also going to be teasing all of my weaves. This is going to keep it really nice and blended and I'm also going to be placing the lightener in the middle and then pulling my brush backwards to blend it and making sure that we are saturating it really well. This is important to make sure everything lifts evenly and that you don't get any cheetah spots or anything like that. So this is my second section and I'm going to have two sections on this one. So this is my first one, weaving it, teasing it like normal, and then I will be doing one right beside it and I will show you in a second why I like to do it this way. So you can see that I'm pointing to the dark pieces. This is going to give us really nice pops of depth throughout the hair and make the blonde pop really well. So this is why I like to do a bricklay pattern so that you have these little pops throughout. It makes it so worth it. We like to keep her money piece pretty bold. So I'm going to be doing two back to back slices and then one weave and tease section. And you guys know for my money piece, I like to do it all the way around the hairline so that when she wears her hair up, it's going to be bright all the way around and not just two stripes down the middle. So for the sides, I'm going to be taking a diagonal back section, weaving it, teasing it, all the normal stuff, and then the next section will be a diagonal forward, and then I'll keep doing that um, back and forth the whole way up the head. We let her process for about 30, 35 minutes, and now we're pulling all of them out. You can see around her money piece how bright it's gonna be when she wears her hair all the way up. And then I'm gonna be doing a root smudge of 7N and 7NA. This is just gonna make sure that everything is super nice and blended, and you cannot miss this step. It really makes a huge difference. As always, I do have a barrier on her ends. Any thick conditioner or Olaplex number two or anything like that, Uberless does have a bond amplifier that is like a step two, and that is what I put on her ends. This is just gonna make sure that we keep the brown color from going onto her blonde, and it's really essential, I promise.
I don't normally tap the money pieces because we do like to keep them really bright, but for her, I am doing this because she does go a really long time and this will just ensure that it can grow out a lot more seamless. Now for the fun part, we are using Viral Shampoo. This is the light pink and pastel rose gold. She wants to do a fun rose gold kind of color, so I'm mixing these two together. And this is just a deposit color shampoo. So you just mix it all together, and with your hair, make sure it's super saturated, and in a couple minutes, you'll have colored hair. So this is really exciting. I'm gonna make sure that we are doing this super evenly and saturating very well, because you don't want it to be patchy or anything. This is gonna be a beautiful, perfect color. And you can pre-tone before you do this. I just chose not to because she did want a more rose gold. So the gold in her hair was going to help make that more gold, of course. But we left this in for about five minutes and it is absolutely stunning. I just let it kind of process after we got it all saturated and in there. And it was so, so quick and easy. Also keep in mind that if you use this color, the more blonde your hair is, the more vibrant this will be, and the longer you leave it on, the more vibrant it'll be. So this also took about a full week to completely fade out of her hair, but it is so gorgeous. You guys will look how cute she is with her new hair. Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you guys. Bye, y'all.